rationals and irrationals are dense everywhere on the real line in this video we show that there exists a rational number and an irrational number lying strictly between any two given distinct real numbers consequently every real number is the limit of a sequence of rational numbers and also of a sequence of irrational numbers let alpha and beta be any two distinct real numbers without any loss we may assume that alpha is less than beta strictly less than beta let us choose a positive integer n sufficiently large such that 1 upon n is strictly less than beta minus alpha let us now subdivide the real line into small intervals each of length 1 upon n so here we have the real line we subdivide this real line into small intervals and each of these intervals has length 1 upon n in fact these intervals these small intervals may be chosen to be left open and right closed in that case we have the set of real numbers r equal to disjoint union of this type of intervals which is which are left open and right closed from i by n to i plus 1 by n i running over the set of integers now beta is a real number so beta belongs to r so beta belongs to one of these intervals so beta belongs to m by n comma m plus 1 by n for some integer m this means that beta lies between m by n and m plus 1 by n clearly we have alpha strictly less than m by n otherwise we'll have alpha greater than or equal to m by n but alpha is already less than beta it is given and beta is less than or equal to m plus 1 by n but this is impossible by the choice of n because 1 upon n is less than beta minus alpha but this expression shows that beta minus alpha is less than m plus 1 by n minus m by n which is 1 by n thus we have alpha strictly less than m by n strictly less than beta in other words m by n is a rational number between alpha and beta strictly between alpha and beta situation is like this we have this real line and we are given two real numbers alpha and beta alpha strictly less than beta then we have subdivided this real line into small intervals which are left open and right closed and each of these intervals has length 1 upon n then we see that beta belongs to one of these intervals which we call m by n comma m plus 1 by n and then we see that this m by n lies strictly between alpha and beta this means that there exists a rational number lying strictly between any two given distinct real numbers to prove the existence of an irrational number lying strictly between alpha and beta we proceed as follows so so far we have shown the existence of a rational number between alpha and beta now we show the existence of an irrational number between alpha and beta note that in view of whatever we have proved so far it is enough to assume that one of the two given real numbers namely alpha and beta is a rational number 
so we whatever we have proved so far that means we have shown that there exists a rational number between alpha and beta so in view of that it is enough to assume that one of the two real numbers alpha and beta is a rational number situation is like this we are given two real numbers alpha beta on the real real line then we have shown that there exists a rational number m by n between alpha and beta if we can show that there is an irrational number between alpha and m by n then this irrational number will automatically lie between alpha and beta so we assume that beta is a rational number in that case beta minus root 2 by k will be an irrational number lying strictly between alpha and beta so let us assume that beta is a rational number then for each positive integer k strictly greater than root 2 by beta minus alpha we have alpha strictly less than beta minus root 2 by k strictly less than beta in other words beta minus root 2 by k lies between alpha and beta clearly beta minus root 2 by k is an irrational number because beta is a rational number thus there exists an irrational number lying strictly between any given pair of distinct real numbers now given any real number alpha we can easily construct a sequence an of rational numbers and a sequence bn of irrational numbers with limit an equal to alpha equal to limit bn that means both an and bn converging to alpha this we can easily construct how for each positive integer n using whatever has been proved so far that means we have proved that given any two real number there exists a rational and an irrational number between the two real numbers we choose a rational number an and b and an irrational number bn such that both an and bn lie between alpha minus 1 upon n and alpha plus 1 upon n here alpha minus 1 upon n and alpha plus 1 upon n are two real numbers so there exists an irrational as well as rational number between them and we can do this for each positive integer n it is easy to see that the sequences an and bn both converge to alpha because they lie with so when n tends to infinity this side and this side both will converge this will tend to alpha this will also tend to alpha that means the sequence both the sequences will converge to alpha recall that a subset a of r is said to be dense everywhere in r if every real number is the limit of a sequence in a that is every term of the sequence lies inside the subset a so in that sense rationals and irrationals are dense everywhere in r if you like this video then please subscribe and share my channel for more of such videos thank you